Mrs. Collins went on a business trip, and her daughter Ella stayed in the house alone. Of course, the girl wanted to invite some friends over. Her mother knew it was inevitable, so she permitted Ella to invite no more than two friends. Mrs. Collins also asked a neighbor to keep an eye on her daughter. Here's what the neighbor saw when she approached the house. Is Ella following her mother's instructions? There are five cars parked by the house. Assuming that one of them belongs to Ella, there are at least four more girls in the house, but possibly even more. In any case, Ella invited over way more people than she was allowed to. Jason received a letter from a girl wanting to ask him out. Unfortunately, the letter wasn't signed, so he didn't know who the girl was. He only knew that it must be someone from his class. Take a look around. Which girl sent him the note? The letter is written in purple ink. Look, that girl over there has a purple pen, so she must be the secret admirer. Detective Callum got a call from a local store selling branded shoes. A pair of their expensive high-heeled shoes appeared to have been stolen. Unfortunately, the cameras didn't work that day and the footage wasn't available. But there was a camera at the entrance taking photos of people walking in and walking out of the store. Who is the robber? It's this woman. Look, she's gotten taller on her way out, probably because she's wearing the shoes. A police officer was following a robber around the city. Suddenly, the robber entered the hospital and disappeared. When the police officer entered the building, there were three workers. One of them must be a robber who was pretending to be a patient. Can you identify this person? It definitely can't be this pregnant woman, and I doubt it's this old man. This man seems to be blind, but where is his stick then? I bet it's the robber who's wearing shades to pretend to be blind and draw away the police officer's suspicions. Take a look at these three people. One of them isn't a human, but who? It's this woman. Look, the hand behind her head is green. Avery was walking in a forest late at night. There was the full moon and she encountered three werewolves. Well, actually just two, because one of them isn't a real werewolf. Which one? It's this one right here. Look, there's a zipper, so he's obviously wearing a costume. Okay, now take a look at this photo of people in a restaurant. One of them is a vampire hunter in disguise. If you were a vampire, who would you avoid at all costs? You'd have to avoid the place overall because it's the cook. Look, he's adding garlic to the dishes. Now let's check how attentive you are. Now I'll be showing you some photos and you have to find out what's wrong or odd about them. Here's the first one. What do you say? Look, the ghost is plugged into a socket. Here's another one, again with a ghost. Are you attentive enough to notice what's wrong with this one? This ghost casts a shadow. You're doing great. Here's the next one. Keep your eyes wide open. What do you see? This vampire is tanned. Those guys never see sunlight, so they're very pale. Okay, the next one is just as tricky. 
We're in a house of a vampire. Can you notice what's wrong here? Look at the picture in the background. The vampire is on it. But vampires can't be photographed. Paige wasn't doing well in school, so she was grounded for all the winter holidays and forced to study. Her father would work the night shifts, so quite often he wasn't at home for a long time, so Paige would often sneak out. She was very careful, so it would go unnoticed. But one early morning, the father came back and realized that Paige had sneaked out at night for a party. How did he figure it out? Look, Paige's car is the only one in the neighborhood that's not snow-covered. It means that she's recently used it. Mrs. Jones grounded her teenagers for throwing a party in the house the previous weekend. They weren't allowed to go out for two weeks and were under strong supervision. On Saturday, Mrs. Jones left for an hour to go grocery shopping. When she returned, she figured out that someone had sneaked out for that hour. Evie said, I was watching Netflix. Dale said, I was texting with a friend. Kaya said, I just finished taking a shower. Who sneaked out? Kaya, if she had really just taken a shower, the bathroom mirror would be misted. But look, it's all clear. So she got an additional week at home. The next Saturday was supposed to be the last Saturday when the teenagers were grounded, and Mrs. Jones went shopping again. When she returned, she noticed dirt on the carpet in the hallway, so she knew right away that one of the teenagers sneaked out again. Evie said, I was just reading in my room. Dale said, I was gaming. Kaya said, I was watching TikTok right here on the couch. Who sneaked out this time? This time, it must have been Dale. He has wet hair, which could be weird, but it's not. It's raining outside. It means he was outside and not just sitting in front of the computer. The next Saturday, only Evie wasn't grounded anymore. In a parallel universe, it's only allowed to have fun and eat candy. No one ever works or studies. Mrs. Rellum came back home after a long and fun night at a club. Her three daughters were supposed to have fun too. She asked them what they had been doing. Hannah said, I went to a party with my friends in that new dress you got me. Elle said, I organized a sleepover. We were binge watching shows and eating. Ava said, I was gaming all day with my friends online. Still, Mrs. Rellum could tell that one of her daughters lied and actually spent all day studying. Who was it? It was Hannah. Look, her dress is perfectly clean and still has a price tag on it. It doesn't seem like she wore it. As you remember, Elle had a sleepover with her friends, so her room is a complete mess right now. Now, she's going to a beach with her friends. She needs her sunglasses, sunscreen, and her swimsuit. Can you help her find them in the room? Yes, here they all are. Great job. A day after the beach, Elle is heading to her classmate's place for a party. She needs her dress, her handbag, and her lipstick. Can you help her find them? The dress, the handbag, and the lipstick. Did you find them all? Hannah was getting ready to meet her best friend for a picnic and didn't find some of her stuff. She remembered that she had lent her shoes, her hairdryer, and her backpack to her sister, Ava. Ava's room was no less of a mess than Elle's. Can you help Hannah find her stuff there? Here they are. Did you find everything she needed? 
Ava is getting ready for her volleyball practice. She needs her volleyball, her sneakers, and her hoodie. Where are they? They're all here. Esme was having a walk in the forest, and guess what? She didn't get lost. Here was her way home, but she decided to go and visit a witch because she had a deal for her. I have a riddle. If you don't solve it, I'm taking your cat. The witch agreed. When does New Year's Day come before Christmas Day? The witch kept the cat. What was her response? New Year's Day comes before Christmas Day, literally every year. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.